Okay, we're going to use Wakelet um, to store our research, share our research, and a place for us to kind of keep everything. And it's also going to be a place for us to share out. Um, I like it because it's really a lot like Pinterest, but it is a little bit more organized um, and it integrates with Google really well. So that's what we're going to be using this semester. So this is just a quick walkthrough. I'm also going to do it in class on how to do it. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to that link, wakelet.com. And then you're going to go up to the top right hand and you're going to go ahead and click log in. And then you're going to log in with your Google account. Make sure that it's always your school account that you're logging in with. Takes just a second. Now keep in mind that mine is is going to have some stuff on there where yours is going to be blank so you can kind of see um, what I have here. So this is kind of yours is going to look um, now a second. I'm going to X out of that. Um, yours is just going to be blank. It's not going to have your picture there. You're not going to have any information there. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to create a new collection. And the title for your collection is Artists Research or Artists I Admire, Artists That You Like. You can also add a description. You can add a cover page just by putting here. The one thing that's really important to keep in mind when you're in Wakelet is Wakelet is not like Pinterest, that it's like a search engine. Wakelet is a storage facility. So you have to be, it's like a storage shed, right? You have to be putting things into that storage shed. Um, it's not just going to automatically pick things and put them, pull things from there. So it's really a storage shed and you can put any type of storage in there. Um, so you have to start by giving it a title so it knows what you're gonna wanna do. And then you can start to go ahead and look at, okay, what is it that I want to add? Do I wanna add? like an, an artist that I admire from Instagram? Do I want to add an artist from um, like a website, a YouTube? What is it that I want to add? Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and add that right there. Okay, um, and then I want you to start adding those images. The nice thing is, is that they're live links. They're not just pictures. So when you're looking at artists and you're thinking about them, I want you to really kind of start to dive deep as you start to look at some of those artists. So. If you find someone on Instagram and you like one of their pictures, um, that's a little bit different than liking a body of their work. And what we're looking for is artists who have a body of work that you can really start to look at and see how they're starting to, what their process is and how they're starting to develop as artists, because that's kind of our starting point in this class. So go ahead and I'd like you to start to add um, at least five artists for next, Friday or for this Friday and then we're going to share them out uh, when you're done I'm going to go ahead and just add something so that you can kind of see how to save it here I'm going to go ahead and add um, Lauren Greenfield, she's a photographer that I like. I like what she's doing. Um, she has some interesting things. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, of course, welcome to Firewalls. Okay, let's try again. I can, yeah, this is one that I can get in here. Some of her stuff is. So I know she's got stuff here. Um, it tells me this, but I'm gonna be able to see about a, a body of her work and get some ideas of what she's got. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna copy that link. I'm going to go ahead and I want to make sure to add that in there. One of the reasons that I like Wakelet is that I can go ahead in and yeah, it has this great information about Lauren Greenfield, but that really doesn't help me in like the long run as to like why I picked her because it's just pulling from the website. Right. And I don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and put in like, why did I pick like Lauren Greenfield? Like, what was it about her work that I really like?
So I said I liked her because she has a, a variety of female images and she uses um, females to comment on social issues. So now, normally this would come up as a picture if that was like from a website, but because it's the international photography, that's why it's there. But this is reminding me, why did I pick that, right? That's way more important than why Lauren Greenfield was born. That's not important because I want to be able to look at this and be, remember why, okay? Um, the other reason I like Wakelet is like, because you can also kind of change the layout. Um, so it's a little bit easier to see. You can do it in kind of that grid view. Um, you could also do it in a mood board as you're starting to put things in there, okay? So the first thing that we're looking at is artists, okay? If you want to add a cover image, you can use something from your artist or you can choose something from their library. Okay. 